New at 10 tonight, a twist in the making a murderer case. Attorney General Brad Schimmel says he will appeal a federal judge's order that overturned Brendan Dassey's conviction for murder. That means Dassey remains in the lockup tonight. Good evening, I'm George Mallet. And I'm Shannon Sims. Carol has the night off. Corrine Zell is here to explain where the case goes from here. Now, this process will most likely take some time. In 2007, Brendan Dassey was sentenced to life in prison for the murder of Teresa Halbach. Last month, a federal judge overturned the conviction, ruling detectives coerced Dassey, 16 at the time, to confess. For now, 26-year-old Brendan Dassey isn't going anywhere. He will remain in prison for the murder of Teresa Halbach, while the state fights a court ruling that could set him free. Ultimately, what the Seventh Circuit is going to have to decide is whether or not Brendan Dassey's rights really were violated. Was his confession involuntary? Former federal prosecutor and WTMJ radio host Jeff Wagner expects a three-month briefing process before oral arguments even begin. I don't think you're going to have anything new on this case for probably at least six months, maybe more than that. In a statement, Dassey's attorneys say, we are disappointed in the state's decision to prolong Brendan's case by seeking an appeal. We look forward to continuing to defend his rights in court. Dassey's uncle, Stephen Avery, has a pending appeal for his murder conviction. A tweet from his lawyer says, just prolonging the injustice. Wagner doesn't believe Dassey's appeal will affect Avery's case. Brendan Dassey's confession was not used against Stephen Avery, so I think the Avery attorneys argue that maybe some of the jury pool might have heard about that, so they might have been tainted. But these are really two completely separate things. Where it all ends, who knows? If the state had not appealed, Dassey could have been set free as soon as November. Schimmel says the Hobbock family supports the appeal. George and Shannon. Thank right. you.